they said, we should do the same. So, well, who are you going to expel? <laughs> So, well, the Cherokee slavers before the biggest yes. of the Native American slaves? Yeah, yeah Choctaw. Choc the Choctaw. Oh, yeah? yeah. No, but the Cherokees didn't enslave other Native Americans. Oh, no, 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 no. They were black. They were black. So they intermarried with them, too. I mean, they, they yeah, oh, yes. Well, was it kind of like a different, was it kind of different kind of slavery? I mean, yeah, well, exactly. slavery first, and then after they were relocated, they didn't count. So. Was it the group in, in uh, it has the biggest casino, the peanut boxes? They yeah. all look black. Well, that was uh, contemporary, oh. very contemporary. Uh, and they, they went back to the reconstruction because they had their own two or families. So they went back and they established it, they built some genealogy, they built the And the, the uh, tribal chair. But if you were, you know, here. Try to go out there. You know, you know we're trying to go out there, you know, so I can log out. You know, the, the reservations out there. I got, the, I got photos of them. I got photos. No, it's not out there. Well, after this, so here is testing thing where we're making presentations and our discussions. This racist thing. And I call it Sequoia. 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 I mean, I thought that's what he had on his Seneca, side. that's what you're thinking. Might have been. I don't think it was Seneca or something. No, like Seneca's in a mistake. Well, there might be some there, though, because... It's okay. Well, anyway, so this guy stands up and says, you know, I was talking to Gerald Bismarck, and I thought, oh, Jesus, don't, don't, don't implicate me in racism, you know? And he says, and, and he called me a racist. <laughs> So he really good. Me. Oh, anyway, good. he says, this is a real problem, this uh, blood quantum thing, so I want to propose that today we declare everybody here a full blood quantum. Just tell me. I mean, the guy had a sense of irony. The thing is, the thing is, he wasn't being that I, I thought it was cool yeah. for a minute. Yeah. No, he dead serious. Yeah. He wants to be a full blood quantum. And the rationale is, then you can pass it on to the next third generation. So, yeah. And then we're all getting married, and then we're all in about three more generations, they can figure it out. So, did we go for it? This guy was a Native American who was responsible for um, his half and half. He's got half and half hands. Responsible for all these companies. Mm -hmm. So, he was the. Barrett, his name is Barrett. He was the financial officer? Or? He was a guy who, uh, he had a boxing team, and uh, every time he raised money, huh. and all he was broke, and all he came down there, and he almost had a fight with Jerry Crow, and then the governor let Mr. Maddox over, overruled. So he took him out to uh, the woods, <laughs> and they were going to fight. That's some kind of stock, stock uh, car location. <laughs> all he said, no, nah, man, I'm not going to, these people will lynch me. He didn't go through, but he was, he was the one to, uh, He's the one who provided the ring for the comeback fight. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are they are on a, they live on a reservation, I'm trying to think. Of, uh, and, they, and they're suing, they're suing, they're suing uh, Long Island over land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is the protocol when someone has 